guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to get to be filming two looks today one with the dose of colors cutting edge palette and one with the smoky soiree palette is that how you say that anyway I did one look with each palette I want to know down in the comments which one you think is the best look I did and uh, yeah I'm not gonna make this intro too long because my exit was longer than I really wanted it to be but that's okay and I want to get out of this shirt because I forgot I cannot wear this shirt with my little Wanda Brawl deals that I got so if you see I'm peeking through here and there in the video I am sorry just for this look of course and uh, yeah I hope you'll consider watching the whole video and let me know in the comments what you think i hope you'll subscribe and stick around for more videos where oh side note i'm not a makeup artist i just like having fun with makeup and i want to meet new people who like having fun with makeup like i do so without further ado let's get into these tutorials shall we Okay, so I used my Anastasia Eye Primer for both these looks. And we're going to start out with the Smoky Soiree Palette and that shade Fired Up with my Morphe M33 brush. Nice, soft, and fluffy. And I got to admit, when I first went in with this shadow, I was a little blown away by the pigmentation of it. I was like oh my goodness that is a lot of pigment and i could blend for days with this i mean i'm pretty sure i could have blended it clear up to my forehead and i think i almost did not really just kidding but it blended beautifully it didn't look patchy i mean it was just amazing as you can see and I made sure to put a little extra on the inner and outer corner. Then I grabbed my Lexi 231 into the shade called On. That definition in the inner and outer portions of this halo eye I was working on. This is another extremely pigmented shade, but blended really, really nicely. I even uh, went back with that first brush, that Morphe, and blended it out and made sure everything was looking seamless and well blended. <laughs> then I took my NYX Glitter Primer with my Lavish Eye Shading Brush and put that down. I was not up for cutting my crease, so this is a way to do a nice fake cut crease situation and then i went in and picked up some of that silvery gunmetal shade out and about and put that on the inner and outer portions of this halo eye this almost has a tiny bit of green reflect in it it's kind of different and cool i don't think i've ever seen a shade exactly like this so it's definitely unique to my collection and uh, yeah. Then with a Luxie Precision Crease Brush, I picked up some of that new in town and popped that right in the center just to add that light and dimension to the center of this halo look and back and forth with the brushes till I got it looking as seamless as possible. I thought it came out quite pretty, to be honest. And then I took that second brush we used and just made sure everything was meshed together. Now I took my Dominique Cosmetics DS Oh, one brush into the black midnight shade in this palette and I use this to 
do the upper lash line instead of eyeliner and I put this along the lower lash line as well. I thought that was quite beautiful. Then using the little brush that comes in the palette, I picked up some more of that fired up shade and started buffing that along the lower lash line. Just little dabs because it is quite pigmented as you can see, but it's, it's, yeah. Then with the other side of the pencil brush side, I picked up some of that new in town shade and I did spray this so I didn't get fallout. No, I think I started out with that gunmetal, that uh, out and about shade actually. And I just added that along the lower lash line. And then I switched off that brush and picked up some of the new in town shade, the other shimmer. And I popped this in the inner corner and I put a slight little bit right in the middle to go with the halo on the top of the eye look. And yeah, it came out pretty nice. Now I got a ColourPop's Kicker and put that in my waterline. Nice silvery shade to brighten things up. Then I took the DS, um, the Dominique Cosmetics DSO2 Packer Brush into my Nakia Joy Highlight and highlighted my brow bone because that other shimmer is a bit too dark for my brow bone in my opinion. Lily Lash Mascara and Lily Lash is in the style Houston. I use these for both looks because yeah I love them. Aren't they pretty? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and then I used from the Retro Paradise uh, four pack of lip liners and lip gloss. I used the lighter, I used the two lighter pencils, um, the nude ones, the darker one to line and then the lighter one to fill the rest of my lip in. I really like the way this looks. I like these pencils, but uh, I decided to put the uh, lip gloss that comes in this bundle on top and this is hella glittery very chunky i regretted this the minute i started doing my lips like that but i wasn't gonna change it i wanted to show you guys and uh yeah what do you think and this is look number one all complete and let me know what you think of it is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and we will get on to look number two. So to start out look number two, I'm going to pick up that shade called Edgy with my ColourPop E2 brush. And after I buff out my little creases, of course, there's my ColourPop E2. <laughs> And this, just like the shades in the other palette, blended so beautifully. I definitely was not disappointed in the blendability or the pigmentation. It was definitely, definitely there. Then I picked up a Sigma E38 and some of the shade called um, Sundown. And I started buffing that just below that first shade we put on. Did I say this was an E38 <laughs> from Sigma? It is. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, this had good pigmentation and nice blendability as well. I can't say enough about how easily these blended. And this was quite a pretty shade. I thought it added something nice to the look for sure. And then back in with that ColourPop E2 just to make sure we're looking seamless. And then with my Sigma E33, I picked up some of that really dark green called Camo. 
Hey, I just realized that was the name of the shade I'm wearing my camera overall. See that? See how things work out? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to add, I wanted to really deepen up that outer V and just slightly bring it up to the, into the crease. I mean, ever so slightly. So I didn't want it to be too prominent all through the crease, but very pigmented this one i did have to do some extra blending with but it wasn't too too bad and then i took that second brush that i used just to help blend that out and mesh those shades together and i ended up picking up a tiny tap of that orange sundown shade just to make sure we didn't lose it then with my Billion Dollar Brows eyeshadow brush, I laid down some of my NYX Glitter Primer. Not cutting the crease again. <laughs> this does the job for cutting the crease, really. And I picked up some of that green shimmer called Rule Breaker. I mean, look at how deep and beautiful that is and how that goes on. I mean, to tell you just stunning they like i said they're a little harder pressed but they still work you can see how great they work i mean yes <laughs> then with my finger i picked up top it off what a fitting name that gold shimmer and just patted it in the middle and i mean it's done both eyes <laughs> Back in with the Billion Dollar Brow Brush and uh, just making sure those two shades are looking seamless. And then I took that third brush that we used, the Sigma E33, and a tiny tap into that green. And then I picked up my Kat Von D Tattoo Aligner to do my wing today. There's no black in this palette, so... Uh, I gotta say, I was also impressed that there wasn't a whole lot of fallout in these palettes. I, w I was quite happy with that, so I can't complain at all in that department either. And Makeup Miracle, my face is done. All products listed in the description box. Then I took the brush from the palette and I picked up some of that shade called Edgy. And I really like these brushes from the palette too. I want to add that in. I don't think I have too many brushes that I actually can say that about that come in palettes that I, I like really like it. But I do. Anyway, I buffed that all along the lower lash line. And then I flipped that brush over after I got that buffed out. And I picked up some of that uh, Rule Breaker shade is what I'm going to go into next. Right there. And I do end up spraying this so that I, just to make sure I don't get any fallout. Because I didn't want to mess up my face. I thought it actually came out pretty good today. But anyway, I kept that real close to that lower lash line and just buffed that along and, I mean, buffed it out with the other side. I'll get it right eventually. Then with my BH number 10 from the White Handle Collection, I picked up Top It Off and I sprayed this as well and popped that in the inner corner because I thought that would really, really look nice and yeah. When I got done with this look, I got to tell you, I was really happy. Even though I came down a little low with that gold shade, but I just used a uh, brow pencil to, or brow brush to scrape it off. A little mildew from Urban Decay for the waterline. I love being able to say I put mildew in my eyes still to this day. <laughs> but anyway, then for my brow bone, I didn't want anything too crazy, so I just used do Me, the Luminous Powder from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, and pop that with my Farrah 65 EN Mini Shader Brush. And yeah, that added just a little bit of luminosity. 
another make it miracle and we're all done what do you guys think of this look let me know down in the comments and we will get to some final thoughts i hope you enjoyed this all right so that wraps up my looks with the two new dosa colors palettes and uh yeah let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite um they kind of were unique in their own way but you know how i feel about my greens so this might be my favorite but i can think of other ways that i really enjoy doing looks with doing different styles of looks with this one too um that being said we'll actually start out with this one um this is nowhere near the vibrant red that it looked like in their promotion pictures or i might not have got this and this one is more of a gunmetal shade than a silvery shade which is what i kind of thought it was going to be but the look i did with this was it was nice i mean i can't say I, one thing I can say is the wear power on these is amazing. I did, it's, today is Saturday, tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm trying to get my house in tip top perfect shape for everyone coming over tomorrow for my birthday. So I did a lot of sweating and cleaning and almost all my makeup was gone, but the eyes still look good. So I do want to say the staying power on this was just amazing. I can't speak for this one, but I'm assuming it will be the same today because it's the same company. Maybe I'm wrong in that, but that's just how I'm thinking it's going to go. Um, that being said, uh, yeah, I was really disappointed that this is definitely more of a brown with some red in it instead of being more red-like. Not sure if I actually would have even got this had I known that. As so their promotional pictures, if they were meant to, you know, make you think it was a little more redder, they accomplished that. But nevertheless, like I said, the staying power was amazing, so I can't be too upset because... It was the bomb and it was I really enjoyed the look I did yesterday I thought it was elegant and you know you could do so many other ways of looks with this color scheme you know I'm rambling sorry <laughs> anyway moving on to this palette while this palette does give me my kaleidos vibes um I still like the look I created with this. Um, if I could change anything, I mean, I'd maybe make this this gold just a tad bit lighter. And I feel the same way with this one. I might have made this shade just a little more brighter and champagneier, but it's not my palette. I think it's. I think the colors are beautiful. At the end of the day, the looks I created, I liked. So yeah, the blendability was absolutely amazing. I can speak for how easy it was to blend this out. Anyway, I don't want to keep rambling. I like these palettes. I don't regret buying them. I'm a little bummed that, like I said, this wasn't more ready and this wasn't more silvery, but I can live with it because they perform beautifully. I mean, you saw it was really easy for me to create these eye looks. So yeah, that being said, let me know down in the comments if you picked these palettes up, what you thought of them. Did you think that was going to be a red too, like I did? I'm really curious to know, or if I'm just have bad phones <laughs> and I can't, yeah, because my, my phone's not the most expensive phone in the world. Anyway, I still have to film the intro for this, so I won't keep rambling. I hope you're having a wonderful night or day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching my video if you made it to this point. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I hope everyone will give it a big thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And yeah, lots of love from me and Thomas to all of you. Thomas is my special needs child. For those of you who have not watched my older videos and heard him making a bunch of noise. <laughs> anyway... 
Have a great and safe week. This is probably going to go up on Monday. I'm going to enjoy my birthday day tomorrow, even though for some reason I keep getting older and it won't stop. But I love the time we get to spend with family. So that being said, love you guys a bunch. Thank you again. And we will see you on the next Teresa Tries Tutorials. Bye, guys.